especially when we are talking about the steel industry there we are always thinking that the rcc construction is long decade we are using steel industry we are using steel in the construction in the force of uh, in in the form of reinforcement but nowadays like pre engineering buildings are we know very well so i will before starting my topic like uh, steel infrastructure solution i just give you brief about the steel prefab we are since three decades we are in steel industry we are dealing with the tata project uh, product and since last one and a half decade we are in pre engineering buildings we have done almost 650 650 plus metal buildings which is almost 1.5 lakh metric ton steel consumption we have done and if you talk about the area we have almost covered 45 million square feet of area we have the present pan india and also 10 countries and two continents when i talk about the technical complexity and delivered by us we have done one single largest project around 11500 metric ton which itself a single building which is span, length is almost 1 km 1000 meters single building we have done for amul which is largest plant for the powder that is 45 meter height building and if you talk about the complexity in form of the crane mezzanine loading we have done the buildings with 100 plus metric ton for steel manufacturers and 30 metric ton build uh, kilonewton 30 kilonewton square meter load which is almost 3 metric ton load for the warehousing where we have they have to go the vertically because they don't have the option to go uh, is a land uh, you know nowadays the land allocation of the land is a, getting the land is a quite difficult so we have designed the uh, building with the 30 kilo newton square meter so that this building was for especially dmart where they can able to store their all the goods in the floor we have done the maximum clear span building up to 60 meter this was just quite short what we have done in pre engineering buildings now what i am going to show this we have see pb we are doing whenever we are talking about the pb yes we can do anything like we have but it always come in the picture ki we are doing built up rafters built up columns but now we have approached that ki why we are limited ourselves to up to that standard pb so we have gone beyond that and we have conceptualized some hybrid construction kind of thing where we have used like our standard pb sections like when i'm saying standard pb you will get the quality of the fabrication in the control environment and we have used some conventional kind of techniques so that what, whatever you have conceptualized your product project at initial stage same we will able to deliver now here i will say that ki some of the project i am going to represent to you and you show you how we have conceptualized we have done the hybrid of the both like pre engineering buildings and sub concept i am not saying ki those concept are innovation but those concept was combining with the pb is itself i say it is innovation now here we have seen for when we was thinking about those hybrid project we was what first thing was ki we have to face going to face the challenges from design detailing then manufacturing then erection and then logistic also so in all project what five project i selected then each project you will able to find out ki what kind of challenges i we faced and how we overcome with those challenges now this is the one of the project which we are currently under installation this is if you see i have given the images if you see your left hand side the images fabricated in a circular shape this is the main building administration building for adani and the area of the floor area in the both both side of this tower it is entire mezzanine is there where almost 1200 square meter project area is there and the tower height is the top height is 30 meters the tonnage wise if you see it is the 200 plus metric ton now when i talk about the challenges the first challenge was in this to bending the box section in circular it is very common when we are doing uh, 
in the site and the but again the constraint is the quality see when we are doing the fabrication at the site we have to weld how you ensure the quality of the welding itself is a challenge so for that we decided that we are going to do in the plant but again because this meter seven meter diameter uh, itself single circle is there and this is five circle we have to transport so reducing the erection timeline and uh, increasing the quality of the welding we divided entire circle in the two semicircles if you see that the lower image of left hand side this itself is color is a single circle and we have assembler in the plant before dispatching also ensure that okay, the, all the holes are matched so we have assemble, uh, assemble in the plant we have taken the demo after that only we have shipped and we plan that so that we are already uh, assembling so there also they will do the mass lifting so that there will not be any chance for uh, misalignment or like side welding kind of thing now as i told you first uh, cha project my challenge was the erection and timeline this is the another unique project this we have done for animal paddocks this is a rehabilitation center where animal injured animal they will uh, bring injured animal entire the world this is in, in reliance jamnagar this again the project area is 1200 square meter and the building height was 8 meter now in this project the first conceptual the first requirement of the project was there was no sharp edges was allowed so when we talk about any bolted connection or if you talk about any rivet connection there will be always end plate will be there some plate sharp edges will be there so uh, even we have tried many other options we uh, discussed like hollow bolts connection is coming but again there also was the channel because the job site was jamnagar very heavy wind speeds are there so we have decided that we have to go welded connection only now again if we are going welding so we have to do entire project at the site only and it was quite difficult to match the timeline in the uh, given so as a team we ev uh, evaluate all the options and decided that ki we will take the logistic challenge and we have made almost 50% of the member welded in our plant so that we ship those plant like 2.4 meter 3 meter members we have sent to the plant uh, in the site and also we ensure that ki there will be minimum cutting at the site so all uh, section we have uh, cut based on the our drawings so that there was only processes remaining that 40% welding at the site that was the reason we are able to match last one minute timeline of the project this is another project which we are under design we have completed and the manufacturing is to start now when i say it is an industrial building when we talk about the industrial building we always say okay this is after column and or either you go conventional this building is the combo of the both the architectural concept was clear in the industry also we want to give the architectural look and there was clear that there should not be any sharp edges no bolt will be visible they don't want any bolt should be visible in the inside of the building so what we have done we have to the first challenge was we have to conceal the connections so the first connection when we talk of the conceal weld it that is a simple way then why pab and how you will achieve at the side the things so we decided that we will do all the bolted connection and all the members we manufacture at the site second challenge was we have to reduce the connections so if you have to reduce the connection we have to send the long members so again as a logistic we have all the evaluation we have done what the path we have to transport and finally we decided that we will go with 19 meter piece in the single piece will be 19 meter and the entire 37 meter span building will be erected in a two pieces only this is another if you see this is a uh, restaurant and banquet hall in the rajkot if you see outside you will not able to recognize that this is a made of steel we always say okay such buildings always will mean rcc so here like we always try where we can use steel construction and this is the if you see the bottom image is the when it was executed and the above is the final image 
This is another office for public affairs we have done. This is a government office and if you see they are also outside again it looks like a RCC building and the major challenge was that we want, they want box sections only for beams. So again box section there is a challenge was the connection there was use forces was coming like as we discussed and we understand that key, like base plate you can use the shear key but again when we are talking about the splice connection then you have to go with like either welded connection or either combo of that so that your shear will be transferred with the separate connection uh, separate methodology and your movement will transfer with the separate methodology so that combination we have done this was from my side thank you